Risk Management Essentials What if you were to ignore this hazard in your office? What if there was an emergency? What if you are controlling risks instead of dealing with the consequences? It may surprise you to learn that in 2014, New Zealand lost 6.7 million working days due to absence. Risk management is about vital practical steps to protect you and your co-workers from real harm and suffering. Fire, poor housekeeping, slips, trips and falls, manual handling and ergonomics are just some of the risks you need to identify, assess and control in your workplace. This tutorial video covers what is risk, what is a hazard, what is the difference between a risk and a hazard, what are the different types of risks, why manage risks and what is the process. Project risk as defined by the Project Management Institute is an uncertain event or condition that, if occurs, has a positive or negative effect on a project's objectives. Hazard is any situation or thing that has the potential to create damage. For example, water spilled over electric cables. The main difference is probability. A hazard is a dangerous thing or situation by itself, while risk is the probability that a hazard is triggered. Risks can be divided in three types. Avoidable risks are those that if measured could be avoided. Strategic risks are those that are assumed without controlling them. And unavoidable risks, even if they are measured, cannot be counteracted. Risks can actually also be positive. A positive risk could lead to the project with better outcomes. Risks are always present in our lives. It is important to be aware of them and understand them. If not, they could lead to undesired consequences. And to solve the consequence is normally more difficult and expensive. No one wants to cut off their arm for not treating a wound properly, right? As you can see in the diagram, risk assessment is a cyclic process containing identification, analysis and evaluation. Risk needs to be continuously monitored and communicated to ensure successful treatment. Next, we will take a closer look at the importance of risk assessment in the workplace. This is David. He is our risk assessment guy. Hi, Hi David! What is risk assessment? Risk assessment is a careful examination of what could harm people. Can you show us how not to do it? So what could we have done to avoid this risk? You should have done risk assessment. So David, can you tell us the three steps of risk assessment? You can walk around and look for potential things that could cause harm. Ask people for their opinion. Or you can talk to the health and safety representative in your company. You will identify groups of people because some workers have particular requirements such as new workers, expecting mothers and people with disabilities that may be at a particular higher risk. Identify how they might be harmed and what type of injury or illness could occur. Compare what you're doing with good practices and see how to bring yourself up to standard. Try a less riskier option. Prevent access to the hazard. Organise work to reduce exposure to the hazard. Provide personal protective equipment and welfare facilities. The risk needs to be treated. Risk treatment takes further action to ensure the risk is minimised to a level of tolerance. This includes improving current controls that have thus far been ineffective. Keep in mind, risk management is a cyclic process and needs to be continuously reviewed to ensure success. <laughs>